Okay, peeps, welcome to the vlog. I'm starting this vlog a little bit later. I've just been feeling pretty sick today, and I'm pretty tired, and I just wanted to get a bit of a rest for today. I feel like it's just catching up with me. Like, all the work that I've been doing has sort of hit me across the head, and I've just tried to sort of recover today. However, I've also been working on my website, my brand, my clothing brand, and I've been just coming up with ideas for that, and also executing on some ideas as well. But not to get into the nitty-gritty of that stuff, I've also been trying to grow my inventory. It's really hard to grow my inventory when I'm selling items. With my sell-through rate, it makes it hard. It's a good problem to have, I guess. But what I've been doing is searching for wholesale and trying to buy bulk items and then list them all individually. And I found a good deal of, of potentially 100 to 120 items for about 100 bucks. So that's like a dollar a piece. So there's definitely gonna be some profit there considering they're clothing items. I could see them sell for as low as five dollars each and as high as maybe thirty to forty dollars a piece really depends on what the item is so i've just been working on trying to find wholesale deals but google is a good mate when it comes time to do that sort of stuff and i've also just been checking other places where people sell stuff really cheaply because some people just don't want to list the items individually and if you've got a system down pat where you can list the items in an effective and fast manner then why not you know and i, th I think potentially at a minimum Everything is going to sell for a, a minimum of $500, so it works out to be like 300 profit. But that's at a bare minimum, so so even if I get less than that, then you know, I'm probably going to break even at 100 But you don't know if you don't try, so we've got to try. I'm waiting for them to get back to me. I sent them a message to see if I could pick it up later on tonight. So hopefully they allow me to do that. But that's what I've been doing. I'm going to get dinner on the go. Yeah, it is that late. I woke up and I'm like, what time is it? Oh, crap. I'm like, oh, it's 5 o'clock. It's so late. I haven't even got a shipment out, but I'm going to do that tomorrow. That's that's why I do one to two business shipping days. I've also been working on some other deals with, with some clients, if you want to call them that, where I'm selling the items for them. So that frees up money in particular that I don't have to invest. It's just my time. And to be honest, I've got more time than I have money. So if I can utilize my time to make me more money, then that's a good game plan, I think. So in that respect, I've just been working on whether or not I should get more stock from that person and we'll be on our way. But yeah, let's get dinner started. I guess you guys like these type of videos where I show you like what I pick up and stuff. So I think I might just keep doing it. So the first item, some of these I'm just going to share like sort of what I'm going to get for it. But the items that are the jackpot items, I don't know exactly how much I'm going to get. So what I'm going to do is just look that up in live time and share that with you. Because I don't even know what it's worth, I just knew it's profitable. And I brought it for like a dollar or five dollars in between there somewhere. So it was going to be worth it anyway. The first item is a Nike. Brand new with tags, Australia. This is a Socceroos polo shirt. And I paid four bucks for this. Easily I'll get 20 bucks for that one. I'm sure I could probably get a lot more because it's brand new. Because I do have another one that's similar to that that is used. And I'm going to ask 20 for that. So maybe I could get... 30 or 40 bucks but please have in mind that this is my potential profit margin and how much I might be able to sell it for and I might sell it for a lot cheaper on a best offer because I did buy it pretty cheap and I'm willing to get rid of stuff at a lower price to turn over stock so this is the other one as well this is a used one and it was like a dollar fifty it's got Qantas as well on the collar okay so the next item is an SMS Santani Subaru Scott cycling shorts four bucks for these Should sell anywhere from 20 bucks plus but these nicks I might be able to get a bit more than what I'm saying I might get them for this is a jackpot and I already showed you guys this so I'm not going to keep it a secret But it is the AC DC. What is it? It's the the razor's edge tour world tour that happened in 1990 to 1991 and I already showed you guys this one, but what I'm going to do I kind of looked it up. Yeah, I already looked it up at, on Etsy in the car with you guys before. I just remember that. So this is probably like $150 t-shirt plus. I'm going to list it for maybe $199 and see how I go with it. I paid $1.50, so that's an absolute jackpot right there. The next item is just a generic long sleeve button front Tommy Hilfiger. I used to pick up these and then I changed my business model up and I no longer tried sourcing for Tommy Hilfiger and Ralph Lauren shirts and stuff. Because it makes me, I, I can sell them to make about 15 to 20 bucks, maybe 15 to 10 dollars profit shirt. 
And for some reason, I thought that wasn't a good business model selling items for that cheap, considering the work I put into it. But then I realized that if I do this in bulk, like if I can somehow find these type of shirts in bulk, it adds up, it definitely adds up. $10 a shirt, it's, it's definitely amazing. So I'm not sure if this video is gonna be drawn out and pretty long, but let me continue with this haul. So another clothing item I picked up is a is a cliff richard piece from his 1995 tour so this is definitely a vintage t-shirt what i'm going to do is head over to etsy and ebay and check the sold listings to see what this would be valued at i paid four dollars for this one and i have no clue i never looked it up so what i think i'm going to do when i show you guys each item as i show the item i'm gonna list that item as well just to make my time more efficient so then i'm not sort of handling these items so many times so once I show you the item, I'm going to take a quick break, list it, and then I'll show you the next one. But I'm looking up this Cliff Richard shirt on Etsy, and someone is asking $52.25 for this shirt. It's exactly the same one as the one I have here. Cliff's face is all stuffed up. <laughs> so I've just been working away creating the listings for all the items. I'm just in the process now of taking the photos. So I thought I might dive a little bit deeper and show you guys the rest of the items that I haven't showed you. I've got it all organized here, the items that I haven't showed you and the stuff over here that I have showed you. Um, actually, these ones here I picked up as well, some Doc Martens. I paid five bucks for these ones and I'm listing them for about 80 bucks. These are also the made in England ones. Those ones seem to sell for a bit more as well. It's good old RM Williams in a size large. This is merino wool and cotton, sort of a zip up jumper. Having a look at my list here, I paid four bucks for this one and I'm listing this one for $40. Next is a pretty cool vintage USA 1994 World Cup Energizer sponsored t-shirt, vintage t-shirt in the size extra large. This one I'm listing for 30 bucks. I paid $1 for this one as well. Going on further, we have a pretty cool Nike full zip up hoodie in a blue. This is a more modern one. This one I paid five bucks for, and I'm gonna list this one for 40. The Gantt 1949 New Haven, Connecticut polo shirt, size medium. This one I paid four bucks for, gonna list it for 25. And then I picked up this NHL Calgary Flames jersey in a size large. I'm assuming this is a Canadian team. I don't know much about the ice hockey or anything, but I do know these jerseys sell pretty well. I paid four bucks for this one and I'm gonna list this one for 70. Heading over to my feet, I picked up three Nerf guns. I got this Rev 6, brand new in the box, hasn't been opened. This sells new on Amazon for 35 fulfilled, but I'm not gonna do that, it's not worth it for me. So I'm gonna list it for 30 Australian here on eBay. Then we have the Retaliator in a blue, doesn't come with the magazine or anything. Comes with a bag of bullets. I'm gonna list this one for 30. I paid four bucks for that one. And then this one over here is a Recon CS6. Same again, no magazine. Comes with a bag of bullets. I'm gonna list this one for like 25 bucks. To be honest, today again has been a lazy day inside. I don't think I've stepped foot outside at all today because it's just been a constant rain all day but i guess that's no excuse but anyway it's better to be inside than outside and i need a little bit of a break but what i'm making for dinner we have some chicken legs marinated chicken i'm gonna roast them away and then just get some vegetables going as well the person replied to me the seller replied to me that was selling a bulk lot of women's clothing it's 10 to past four at the moment and they're leaving the warehouse at 4 30 so and for me it's probably a good 50 minute drive from here so i'm not going to make it so what i'm probably going to do is organize pick up of the items tomorrow or something that's the thing also i haven't paid for the for the bulk items so we'll see how we go i'm still trying to decide whether or not it would be a good deal but there's no better way to learn from actually doing and finding out the hard way or finding out that it works out so we'll see 